Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Proverbs chapter 12 verse 3 as well as Philippians chapter 4 verse 9. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for all you've done for us. Thank you for even addressing the parts of us that we are sometimes unwilling to admit to, Lord. God, forgive us for our sins. Let there be no barrier between any part of us and you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 3. Oh, Philippians 4, 9 first. <laughs> What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. All right. And so this is just speaking about the fact that we need to just know that whatever that God gives us in these conflations, gives us in these verses, um, we need to store them up in our heart, right? We need to store them up and we need to retrieve them. We need to start actively retrieving them. Whatever he tells us, whatever word he plants into your heart, we need to be taking note of it. We need to be remembering it and throughout our days, applying it to our everyday circumstance. God does not give us these things just for us to hoard them and never talk about them again, right? He gives us these things to apply to our lives. He gives us these things as forewarning so that we can walk upright and walk close to him. He gives us these things because he cares and he loves us. So it says, what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. This is Paul. And so Paul is talking to the Philippians and he has lived a lifestyle that has said, hey, look at me as I follow Christ. Hey, watch how I walk and this is how you should walk uprightly, right? He never claimed to be perfect, but he he was following the Lord and he wanted these, these children of his to follow the Lord as well. It says what you have learned. So what we have sat down and applied as knowledge, what we have received. So those seeds that have been taken into that fertile ground and heard. Remember, as we hear, hearing is can be part of our gates and, and those gates um, lead to our heart, our heart overflows and our mouth speaks and we do, right? So it says heard and seen in me. So our life should be a living epistle, right? We should be seen by others doing the will of the father. It says practice these things. These things that God reveals to us in his word are things that we should be about daily practice, be about God's business. Amen. It says, and the God of peace will be with you. God is with us. He walks with us day by day. He has never left us or forsaken us. And we need to give him some praise for that. We need to say thank you. And we need to run with the word that he has given us. Amen. All right. So the second um, verse that the Lord was giving me was Proverbs 12, 3. No one is established by wickedness, but the root of righteousness will never be. So God has us firmly planted with his word, right? His word causes us to be unshakable, undisturbed, right? Our roots are in good soil. Our roots are well taken to the ground. They're not planted in sand, right? It says no one is established by the wicked. Why? Because the wicked is thinking, saying, you can't put your root down in that. That thing's going to fall apart. That's like taking beach sand, a beach castle and planting a plant in it. It just doesn't work right the moment some water hits it the moment it rains the moment the beach comes it's gone right and so it says no one is established by wickedness so wickedness doesn't give you any firm setting it says but 
the root of righteousness will never be moved. So the root of righteousness represents that firm foundation that causes us to stand the test of time. Um, We are the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. He has us firmly established and we need to be thankful for that because the wicked cannot be established. And that's an uneasy feeling to have we have a good um, God who is keeping us rooted and grounded. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for the words that you send us. Thank you that they are light in our hearts, God. Help us to eat of you. Help us to drink of you. Help us to see you as our light. Help us to walk around with this word and apply it. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, you guys, if you have prayed that prayer and you believe that prayer, then the Holy Spirit has come into you and sealed you until the day of redemption. And no one can break that seal except Christ Jesus himself when he comes to redeem his church. The Holy Spirit is in you to lead you and guide you into all truth. And he's gonna do just that, amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.